graders, thank you for joining me for another digital music class. Let's start today off by singing hello to all of our friends who maybe we haven't seen in a while and we're hoping that we're wishing them well. So let's sing hello to our friends. to all our family who we have been spending so much time with. Hello family, hello family, hello family and welcome to music today. And of course, could you indulge me? Could you say hello to Mr. Houchin? Hello to everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone, and welcome to music today. Everybody sing hello. Fantastic. It is so good to see everybody out there in digital music land. I hope you are happy. I hope you are healthy. And I hope you're ready to make some music with Mr. Houchin. Let's take a look at our lesson for today. So we just sang hello, and in just a moment we're going to warm up our bodies, warm up our voices, warm up our breath, um, so that we are ready to make music together. I'm going to keep on with our sight singing that we've been working on. We've been working on reading patterns that have do, re, mi, so, and la in them, and being able to sing them just by looking at them. We're going to take Captain Go Sidetrack Your Train, which we worked on in class, and we're going to add another song to it from way back from first grade or even kindergarten that you might know. And we're going to combine them, which is kind of cool. And then we're going to learn another song about trains. It's called To Stop the Train. I'll tell you a little bit about that when we get to it. We'll feature our April Musician of the Month, and then we will sing goodbye. My goals for you for today is to, again, get ourselves sight singing with our Do, Re, Mi, So, and La, to combine our two songs, Engine, Engine, or sorry, uh, uh, Captain, Go Sidetrack Your Train with an old song, and to begin learning our new song. Those are our three main goals for today. So let's do a little bit of warming up, a little bit of warming up. So let's start first with um, just warming up our body a little bit. Can you sort of wobble your head back and forth? Loosen up your neck. Not too hard, not too fast now. Just make sure everything's nice and loose. And let's take our hands and do the same thing. So we're just going to kind of roll our hands around, shake them out gently, sort of just make sure that they're nice and loose. You can shake them a little faster and slow them down. Take your hands and clasp them together, interlocking your fingers and your thumbs, and roll your fingers, your hands around, roll your hands around, getting those wrists moving. Okay, that's always good to do. Uh, one of my favorites is taking my shoulders and trying to raise my shoulders up so that they can touch my ears. Get them up as high as they can. Now this might feel a little bit uncomfortable, but that's okay. Just keep stretching up, and then on the count of three, you relax. One, two, three. Oh. And that relief when your shoulders drop should feel really nice. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Shoulders up. Try to touch them to your ears. Touch them to the ceiling. I said hi. Make your neck disappear. And then one, two, three. Drop. Ah. Fantastic. Nice to get some blood flowing, get our body moving. Let's do a little breathing right now. A little in through our nose, out through our mouth. Four counts quietly in through our nose. Four counts quietly out through our mouth. It looks like this. In. And out. In. Out. Let's go a little slower. Ready? In. Out. 
one more time and out really nice really nice I like doing that especially at the beginning of these digital music classes because who knows what we were doing before it but it allows our bodies and our breath to sort of calm and focus and be ready to ready to do some singing ready to do some music like we would be doing back at school uh let's warm up our voices a little bit now can you sing oh nice try it again make your voice go even higher ready oh now with your lips buzzing i want you to do this your turn nice do it again but even higher ready yeah really 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 good <clears throat> we're gonna get our singing voices out and we're gonna sing a little warm-up that i love to do with my chorus students and uh, i'm gonna get my melodica here to make sure i'm on pitch and the warm-up sounds like this <clears throat> Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Just like that. Say, Mommy made me mash my M&M's. Just like that. But you're going to sing it and your voice is going to start high and get lower. And it sounds like this. Mommy made me mash my M&M's. And each time we sing it, our voice is going to get a little bit higher. I'm going to play it on the melodica. I want you to sing with the melodica. So when you hear this, that sort of sounds like you singing, Mommy Made Me Match My M&Ms. And then I'll play this, and we'll sing it again a little higher. Let's try it. Get your singing voices ready to sing. And ready, here we mash our M&Ms. Nice job, nice job. Hopefully your mommy didn't really make you mash your M&Ms. That would be sad. Okay, so we've got our body warmed up, we've got our breath warmed up, and our voices warmed up. It's time, third grade, to go back to a little thing that we've been doing called sight singing. Sight singing. And just as a little bit of a warm up, can you repeat after me? Can you sing? Do, re, mi. Do, re, mi. My turn. Do, re, mi, so. Your turn. Do, re, mi, so. My turn. Do, re, mi, so, la. Your turn. Do, re, mi, so, la. My turn. La, so, mi, re, do. Your turn. La, so, mi, re, do. Nice singing. Now, if you take a look at the board here, I have a pattern that uses do, re, mi, so, and la. And in the case of our first one, it actually just uses do and re. Notice today that do is on the bottom of the staff. It's on that first space, right where I put my little uh, do marker there. So anytime you see a note down there, it's going to be do. Now, of course, under the notes today, you have the letters D and R, and you'll have the rest of them. And that kind of gives you hints as to what the notes are. And I want you to use those for now, but I might take them away to make it a little more difficult. So, this first pattern, I see Do, Re, Do, Re. Can you sing that with me? Ready? Do, Re, Do, Re. Nice work. Notice that Do is on the first space and Re is on the line right above Do. The notes are pretty close together. But watch what happens when I change the pattern. Uh-huh. 
Still using Do and Re, but the pattern is different. Take a look at it. This is what Do sounds like. Could you sing it for me? Ready, C. Nice singing. Did it sound like this? My turn. Do, Re, Re, Do. If your pattern sounded like that, nice singing. Let's sing it all together one more time. Ready, Do, Re, Re, Do. Fantastic. Moving on to this next pattern. Notice the first note has jumped way high up. And it has an S under it, so we know that that first note is going to be so. First note is going to be so. And it's going to be much higher in our voices. Allow me to sing this one first, and then you can sing it after me. So, la, so, do. Ready, sing. So, la, so, do. Nice work, nice work. Notice between that last so and do, we have a big leap with our voice. One more time. So, la, so, do. Nice singing, nice singing. All right, let's see what's next. Aha, uh -huh, starting back down on Do. But we've got Mi, So, and La in the mix. Take a second to look at it. Starts on Do. Why don't you try singing this one first? Ready, sing. Not bad. Here's how it sounds when I sing it. Do, Mi, So, La. Sing with me, ready, go. Do, mi, so, la. Nice job. Notice that we're skipping over re in that first little bit. We're skipping over re to go from do to mi. All right. Now take a look here. I've gotten rid of the letters under the notes. So you're on your own. But I will give you one hint. The first note that we are singing is do. So take, and take a second to look at it. Think what you would sing, what syllables you would sing. And why don't you sing it with my ukulele? Ready and I hear you sing. One more time. Ready, sing. I see do, re, do. Nice job, nice job, nice job. Okay, let's see what's next. Ah, this one does not start on Do. This one does not start on Do at all. So I'm going to get rid of the Do, and I'll give you the hint. This one starts on So. So take a look. Notice you've got a note that's higher than So. What are we going to sing there? And then we've got a note really down at the bottom. What are we going to sing there? And there's So. Why don't you try singing it with my ukulele this time? Ready, Hella, hear you see. Sing one more time. Ready. So this pattern is so, la, so, do. Nice job. And we'll do one more today. Ah, that one does not start on so either. So I'm going to get so out of there. And this one starts on me. This one starts on me. So notice that the next note is right below me. And there's one more note below that. So what notes are we going to be singing that start on me and go a little bit lower? There's your first note. Let's try singing it with the ukulele ready. Hear you sing. One more time singing. This pattern is Mi, Re, Do, Re. Which I bet a lot of you are going like, that's the first part of Mary had a little lamb. And you're absolutely right if you thought that. Really nice work, really nice work. Enough of that for today. Um, let's go over to another song that we've been working on in class called Captain Go Sidetrack Your Train.
He goes like this. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Number three in line, coming in on time. Captain, go sidetrack your train. When we talked about this in class, I told you to imagine a train yard. And I've got a little picture of it over here, over my shoulder. Which shoulder? Which shoulder? Oh, this one. This one over here. Yeah. Uh, and you see there's all the different train tracks and all the different trains there. And so the person who's in charge of the train yard is telling the, the, the engineer, the captain of the train, to sidetrack their train over there so that they're ready to unload all the things on their train. So let's try it again. Let's keep the beat on our shoulders as we sing this time. Ready and uh, here we sing, Captain, go sidetrack your train. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Number three in line, coming in on time. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Nice job, nice singing. So this song, you know, we have lots of songs that have to do with trains. And this one actually reminded me of another song we learned maybe back in like first grade. And it sounds like this. Engine, engine, number line, going down the railway line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? You might remember that one from when we were a little bit younger. Let's sing it one more time and then we'll figure out how it fits in with this song. Engine, engine, number nine, going down the railway line. If the train goes off the track, will I get my money back? Now, if you look at the board up here, you'll see we have the words to Captain, go sidetrack your train. And we have the words to engine, engine, number nine, except some of the words to engine, engine, number nine are missing. And that's the, if the train goes off the track. For this song, we don't need those words, so we're going to toss them off to the side. But we're going to keep the first two lines and the last line of the song. And instead of singing it, what I want you to do is I want you to chant the words to Engine Engine Number 9. You can almost like whisper it, but like a loud whisper. So re repeat after me. Engine Engine Number 9. skip over the next part and do the last line will I get my money back will I get my money back well we're gonna put that into the song whenever we get to the long word train from captain go sidetrack your train so I'm gonna sing captain go sidetrack your train when I get to that long train I want you to say Engine, engine number nine. Now it's a little hard for me to demonstrate by myself, but I'm going to see if I can do it the best I can with just one person. So I would sing, Captain, go sidetrack your engine, engine number nine. Captain, go sidetrack your going down the railway line. Number three in line, coming in on time. Captain, go sidetrack your... Will I get my money back? All right. This time, I want you to be in charge of engine, engine number nine. The words in black on the screen. And I'm going to sing, Captain, go sidetrack your train. Whenever I get to train, that's when you say your part. And I'll try to help you out by patting the rhythm on my ukulele here. All right. So you're going to say the words to engine, engine number nine with my ukulele. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Number three in line, coming in on time. Captain, go sidetrack your train. Nice job. I could tell you were right with me. So now what I want to try 
is you're going to sing the song, Captain, go sidetrack your train. I'm going to do engine, engine number nine. Now, for us to stay together, I'm going to play it on my ukulele. Like, and I want you to sing with my ukulele, and I'll do the engine, engine part. So get your singing voices, one and two, and ready, sing. Engine, engine number nine. Going down the railway line. Will I get my money back? Not bad. Not bad. A little tricky. A little tricky, I'll give you that. But not bad. Not bad. All right, let's say goodbye to the captain and his train. And let's go on to a new song. Now, this is also a train song. I don't know what it is about trains, but they make for great musical subjects in music class. And the words from this song actually come from a very interesting place. Some of you... When you've been out walking around or riding the train or just being out and about, you might notice that there's signs for things everywhere. There's signs that tell you when to cross the street. There's signs that tell you, you know, what you can do at the park. There's signs that tell you what to do in case of an emergency when you're on the train. And for example, here's a sign that I found. This is a sign you might see when you are on the bus or the train on the T. And it says, priority seating. Please offer this seat to seniors or persons with disabilities. And it's basically telling you that these chairs are for people who maybe need a little more help to sit down when they're on the train. Now, you might just see that sign and read it and then go along with your day. But somebody saw a sign like that and decided to turn it into a song. And so this is a sign you might see on a train that tells you what to do in case of an emergency. And it's called To Stop the Train. And it sounds like this. To stop the train in cases of emergency. Pull down the chain. Pull down the chain. Penalty for improper use. Five pounds to stop. The train, in cases of emergency, he pulled out the chain, pulled out the chain, penalty for improper use, five pounds. Now, five pounds, this probably means that this song is from England, where their money is called pounds instead of dollars. And if you pull that chain when you're not supposed to, you have to pay a little bit of a penalty. Mm. Now, let's try this song out. It's got some fancy words in there, so let's get the words going first. Would you keep the beat with me on your shoulder? And repeat after me. To stop the train. To stop the train. In cases of emergency. In cases of emergency. Pull down the chain. Pull down the chain. Penalty for improper use. Five pounds. Penalty for improper use, five pounds. I accidentally left out one of the pull down the chains, but they're the same both times you say them. Let's try just doing the whole poem with just our speaking voice. Don't worry about singing right now. Keep the beat with me. One, two, ready. To stop the train. In cases of emergency, pull down the chain, pull down the chain. Penalty for improper use, five pounds. Nice job. Would you get your singing voices out and repeat after me? <clears throat> to stop the train, to stop the train. In cases of emergency, in cases of emergency, pull down the chain, pull down the chain, pull down the chain, pull down the chain, penalty for improper use, five pounds, penalty for improper use, five pounds. That's the song. Today, I'm just expecting you to sing it along with me. 
And if you don't have all those words quite yet, that's okay. We'll do more with it next week because this is a fun song to play around with. So let's try the whole thing one more time and then we'll wrap it up for today. It goes like this to stop the train in cases of emergency. He pulled out the chain, pulled out the chain. Penalty for improper use, five pounds to stop the train. In cases of emergency, he pulled out the train, pulled out the train. Penalty for improper use, five pounds. Nice job. Take that song, put it in your brain, save it for next week because it is time for us to move on to our musician of the month. And our musician of the month for April is one that I'm very excited about. Because this is not just one musician, it's a whole group of musicians. And the kind of music that they perform is hip-hop and rap music. I know what some of you are thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hip-hop and rap music? For the musician of the month? You're right. It's exciting. The group that we are going to learn about this month is called The Roots. Everybody say, The Roots. And The Roots is a hip-hop band from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and they've been around for a very long time. Now, this is not just a couple of people in a group. This is an ensemble that has lots of different types of mu musicians. There's, of course, a rapper who sort of leads the group, as well as a drummer. There are guitar players. There are bass players, keyboard players, horn players, um, even a tuba player. Haha, -ha, you wonder why I like them so much. And they perform all sorts of different types of music. Uh, and they work with a lot of different bands and other musicians. So one thing that they do a lot is collaborate. Collaborate is a really cool part about being a musician. Collaborating is when one musician or group of musicians hangs out with another musician or group of musicians. And they take their music and they blend it together. And you get this really cool mix of different styles and types of music. And so what I want to show you today is an example of our Musician of the Month, The Roots, collaborating. They're collaborating in this video with a singer whose name is John Legend. John Legend is a really famous R&B singer. He's got a really beautiful voice. And him and The Roots, they get together and collaborate a lot. So they got together for this song called The Fire. At the very beginning of the video, the guy that you see singing, that's John Legend. The band that's playing with him and the rapper that's rapping with him, that's The Roots. So take a look, take a listen, and enjoy our Musician of the Month for the month of April. Something in your heart and it's in your eyes is the fire. That's what it is, what it is. Inside you. The fire's what it is. We gotta let it burn. We don't say good luck. Don't give up. Stay, don't give up. I it's the fire. Fire, 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 fire. Pretty impressive, pretty impressive, pretty funky too. So we're going to listen to and learn more about the roots as the month goes on. All right, folks, thanks for joining me on this digital music class. I hope it was fun. I hope you made some music with me, and I hope you're ready for the next one. Uh, for third grade, every Wednesday, your music class comes out on YouTube. So make sure you check every Thursday for your music class. I hope you're happy. I hope you're healthy. And I can't wait to see you guys next week. But for now, let's sing goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. And thank you for music today. Goodbye.
goodbye, everybody, and have a fantastic week.